it was related it was done with the drums and noise announcements related to anything religious announcements or political political announcements yes, yes. <coughs> okay what do you aspire to be what do you want to be i want to become an is officer straight away yes okay and then then, what, uh, what do you get out of this? Is it a fascination or simply a fascination of, you know, no, what I do you get to, out of this? I want to serve my nation in a better way. Okay. As a, as a teacher, I can uh, serve my nation, but being an IS officer, I can um, <coughs> appeal the government for some uh, amendments in the things I and I feel the people find it. <laughs> amendments in things... Uh, for example, know, it, it, people it, it, find it. It gives a touch of politics then. <laughs> I don't. Are you aware that political uh, these these bureaucrats? I mean the IAS guys, they don't have any say in making any amendments. No, um, I can administer the country in a better way. Yes, administration. No huh? They're innocent. They're innocent. They're innocent. They're. They feel like that they can make amendments. amendments. Okay. No, but she is not aware that uh, mm. okay she cannot do the amendments. Who can make the amendments in the? The government, rules? of course, can make. What is work? It's a party. It's a uh, it's a organ. We can say that performs some duties. Where does it come from? It is uh, of three levels: state, uh, state. Let, let's talk of the state right now. State. It uh, some of uh, some of the states are bicameral, and some of them are unicameral. Our Jammu and Kashmir is a bicameral legislature. Uh, your father is with you right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you comfortable with him? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, it con consists of two houses, the Legislative Assembly and the Legislative Council. Okay. The Legislative Assembly consists 87 members here and the Council consists 37 members. Great, great. But the question was where does this government come from? It comes from people. It comes from the people. And who makes this government? People make it. As Abraham Lincoln had said, it's the yes, government of the people the by the yes. people for the people. Very good. Very good. So you can really make some changes in the future. I, if I can, I would. See, you have to think, because you already said you aspire to do something like that. Since it's already on your mind, you will do it. Inshallah. Ah, say, I will do it, of course, Inshallah. Inshallah. And we say Inshallah not only for the things which <coughs> seem to be... Uh, which I have to do. Which actually you have to do, yes. I have to do. Ah, then you say Inshallah. Yeah. Because many times we say Inshallah in such places where we don't have intention to do the things. No, it's my dream from God. And what is your uh, strong subject? Mathematics. And that is your favorite subject? Yes. Strong and favorite coincide. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I was Good. able to do it easily. How, how many marks you have got in mathematics? Let me see. 60 out of 60. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, it speaks in the marks also. So your statement is not hollow. You know? It is a solid statement. Yes, sir. Good. So, maths. Mm. Maths. I don't want to ask you a question from maths. Okay. So, you tell me what kind of hobby. Can you hold this? Well, I want to paint. Simply paint. You went from the roadside or the mountainside? Went from the roadside uh, okay. uh, there and came back from the mountainside. So, which part did you like better, the roadside or the coming down from the mountainside? <laughs> My roll number. Roll number is. Uh, so Definitely, I will, I will not prefer that subject because if I would say that it's my parents' will, so I have to overcome that. But I will not uh, just think of my future. So I will definitely not do that thing, which I'm not perfect in. So at that time, I will choose uh, my own uh, will. But when I think that, no, my father is saying this and I'm also comfortable in doing the same thing, then I will, inshallah, work on my parents' advice. How about Nasim Bagh? How about Nasim Bagh? Mm -hmm. uh, how many... Uh, why do we call uh, Nasim Bagh and Nasim Bagh? Maybe it uh, 
Mm. There must be some historical background. Maybe historical background. That's true. I actually don't know it <laughs> why it's called that. Uh, but um, maybe it, it first would be like uh, means uh, many or more trees should be would be there. That's why it should be given that name. Do you know what the sea means? No. What's your name? My name is Malik Nazir. Malik Nazir. What does Malik mean? Is it Persian or Arabic word? Hmm? Is it Persian or Arabic? Arabic. You studied with school? RP school? No, Galaxy. 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 It's an Arabic word. What does it stand for? What does it mean? Galaxy? Numeric. Cushions of paradise. Cushions of paradise. Do you really believe that paradise exists? Yes. How do you come to know that paradise exists? Quran, by Quran. You believe in Holy Quran, but. My name is Sayyid Adamal from District Kulgam. My father's name is Sayyid Bashir Ahmad and he's a Thai government employee and I read in Dewdrops. Dewdrops school. So, Jammu, uh, you said that you are from Kulgam. Yes. How do you define it? If you are from Kulgam, you are from Kulgam. What is your name? Kulgam. What is your name? Kulgam. 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 कोई ऐसी चीज जो आपको लगता है कि या कुलगाम की सबसे कोई कहते हैं जो नेचुरल ब्यूटी पसंद है कोई कहते हैं कोई चीज है वहाँ पे कोई हिस्टोरिकल ऑफ क्या लोग साइंस ने हमारी जिंदगी सर साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी की वजह से सर इतनी सर हम जो प्रीवियस था उसको चेंज किया सर हमारी लाइफ कंफर्टेबल इससे बन गई है कंफर्टेबल होगी सर मुझे तो लगता है इससे नुकसानात ही ज़्यादा होंगे न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स बन गए सर और इसके मेरिटस भी है डिमेरिटस भी है सर मेरिटस कंफर्टेबल लाइफ बनी इजी बनी या जहाँ इंसान पहुँच नहीं सकता था वहाँ हम पहुँचे डिमेरिटस ये भी है इसका मिस यूज़ हुआ एटम्स बनाए वेपन्स आर्मी रेस में आज सब लगे हुए हैं कंट्रीज आर्मी रेस की आपने बात की आपने कभी नाम सुना एनपीटी व्हाट डू बिलीव योर शी इज अ मदर व्हाट डू योर मदर थिंकिंग अबाउट यू राइट नाउ What type of discussion? If you impart some knowledge, then you need to uh, analyze what the student is thinking about it and what. But this examination pattern, what we are following, do you think that is the correct? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Has this interview helped you in any way? Yeah, I may think about the question that you asked me. Mm -hmm. You start thinking? Yeah, I start thinking. You promise more. that. Huh? Hey, yes. an interview is actually anything can be asked. You have to explain some reasons. I was going to ask your mom hates you, but you did not answer for love, so it was not. You, so what would have, what would I have concluded that how you have analyzed your mother? How will you analyze other people? If you are an official, an officer, a worker, whatever you are, how will you analyze other people around you? 
जैसे राशन कार्ड से खाना मिलता है मतलब चावल मिलता है चीनी कितनी मिलती है आज पढ़ते हो वही है गाठ राशन उस पर जिंदगी नहीं चलेगी यू विल हैव टू रीड बी ऑन थिंक बी ऑन कश्मीर में भी वही होना चाहिए यहाँ से पीस आ गई हड़ताल क्या मांगते हैं वो मांगते जैसे बाहर के स्टेट है वहाँ पे जैसे बीफ अलाउड है मुसलमान पे तो वहाँ पे नहीं देते खाने एक पार्टी हुआ था शायद टू थाउजेंड कुछ बाहर है हम तो यहाँ खाते हैं यहाँ तो हम खाते हैं यहाँ तो आपको दुकाने मिली क्योंकि बाहर भी अगर इंडिया है तो हम भी घूम सकते हैं ना बाहर वहाँ नहीं वहाँ को फेल किया गया अच्छा इस वजह से बस और कोई वजह गाली देंगे उनको हम भी एक खाने देंगे कोई गवर्नमेंट आएगी वो ब्रीफ वहाँ अलाउ करिए तो फिर ठीक है करबला के बारे में कुछ पता है क्या हुई थी लड़ाई वड़ाई कुछ मुसलमान करते आ रहे क्या करबला में क्या हुआ करबला में शहीद हुए कौन सर वो कौन थे शहीद तो बहुत सारी हुए उमर बाकी जो मर्जी बनाओ फिर क्यों मान लीजिए ओके बन सकता नहीं बस कांसेप्ट गलत है नहीं मैंने दूसरे साइड से आप कह रहे हो कि ऐसे लोग थे पहले बड़े-बड़े अब छोटे हैं मैंने कहा अ काइंड ऑफ लाइक उसका जो वो कांसेप्ट है वो थोड़ा सा क्लियर है इन द सेंस लेकिन वो हम ये नहीं कह सकते उसकी जो पूरी थ्योरी है वो करेक्ट है अब एक चीज उसका एक हिस्सा उसकी थ्योरी का नहीं राइट है पार्टली रॉन्ग ले रहे हैं कुछ ठीक है कांसेप्ट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन ठीक है लेकिन जो उसने एवोल्यूशन ऑफ मैन दिया है वो हम एक्सेप्ट नहीं करें अकायद की अपनी आंखों से ये कहना चाहते हो तो आप अपने बिग बैंग के बारे में आपने पहले कहा तो बिग बैंग क्या कहता है बिग बैंग कहता है कि जो ये पूरी यूनिवर्स थी ये कंपैक्ट बॉल की तरह थी तो एक ऐसा काइंड ऑफ प्लास जैसा हुआ वर्ल्ड में तो इससे क्या हुआ ये वर्ल्ड में नहीं पूरी यूनिवर्स में एक ऐसा लैंग्वेज यू हैव टू बी दैट ओके ऐसे यूनिवर्स में एक ब्लास जैसा हुआ यूनिवर्स नहीं थी उसमें मतलब नहीं 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 जो कुरान ने कहा फतक ना फतक इस वे हाउ स्प्लिटेड असेंडर दैट इज डिफरेंट वो हमने इन रिट्रोस्पेक्ट दिया कि ये कुरान का इशारा उस की तरफ है साइंस ने तहकीक की साइंस के साइंटिफिक फैक्ट आ गया आ गया फिर जब मुसलमान ने लिखा एक कुरान में ऑलरेडी मेंशन है यानी कि ये उस वक्त मेंशन है जिस वक्त इसका कांसेप्ट ही नहीं था सब लोगों को बिग बैंग का कोई कंसेप्ट नहीं है वो डिफरेंट बात है इससे ये हम मुसलमानों को ये अपनी जगह खुशी महसूस होगी ये किताब जो है ये किसी इंसान की नहीं है ये शायद एक वो किताब है जो खाल के कायन के जिसने कायन को बनाया है ठीक है मतलब उसका खालिक है वो अलग चीज़ है मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि ये जो बिग बैंग का कंसेप्ट है ये कैसे आ गया ये कैसे हमको पता रहा कि बिग बैंग हुआ यानी कि पहले कोई छोटी चीज़ जो पड़ेगी Yes, you're right there. You're right there. What did he start with? In his initial days. First, 
He was a strong character. So everybody could identify with him certain certain properties, parameters, and credibility. That this character started transforming into people. Do you feel yourself in a uh, sort of stress? Do you feel that you are under stress? That's why you, you are not able to set your goals? No, it's not like that. It is just I don't have an interest in whatever I see before me. I have even researched other um, uh, professions, other kind of uh, career. But do you, do you agree? <coughs> you, have, you have some sort of a passionate approach to whatever the happenings. But don't you think that if you can make a career in whatever you, as you are liking, you can contribute more from that position rather being known, rather being away from uh, that uh, uh, the zeal as a strength. So by that you should take the challenge for your life. And if some challenge you want to take, if your career you want to, what will be that? What will be that? What you think about it? You so, think about that? so you don't have a role model, somebody you would like to look up to. And uh, mm, how many times do you pray? Okay. I don't pray regularly. I just I think I pray in Ramadan. Mm -hmm. I fast and then I pray and then I stray away from the world. Okay. What about you, the uh, people in your family? The people in my family? Uh, about um, my praying, parents praying, are praying. Uh, praying. My mother prays five times a day. My father, he's um, they, uh, most of his time it's taken up by his job. He leaves at um, eight or nine, and when he comes back at uh, very late, I think that is the reason he's very. Okay. Is a doctor a profession? So, uh, uh, you've uh, written about uh, the lap of CBD. <coughs> Just tell us a little about it. How do you see that? Okay? How do you? How do you see that time of Muhammad or something? What were the, the prime uh, incidents that happened during that time? Do you know anything about it? The time in yeah, uh, Muhammad I guess. Was um, yes. Uh, when uh, baby Halima, she took Muhammad to the village where she lived, and he, the family, they, they, there was, I can, I've read, um, there was uh, this goat, there was, uh, she didn't give any milk. This is first topic. You have a choice between this and the next. Next is should a reservation system be removed? from professional and higher education. What it? Should reservation system be removed from professional and higher education? These are... Sir, First of all, if we are going to talk about the UNO, the first demerit of UNO is that the veto. Okay, seven countries they hold the veto power, and it's like. Let's close the door. Even if one country says no, others you have to they have to comply by that thing. So first problem is veto. Only the powerful countries like USA, China, Russia, and they have the power over this veto. And the second thing about UNO is that the uh, you know the head of 
The second thing is that about the G77 countries, you must have heard about uh, about those countries. So we can say that uh, they, the, this, this G77 got constructed, you know, because of the failure of UNO. It was the failure of UNO in the trade enhancement. They were not able to uh, create a trade-free area. This UNO has been under the power of the powerful countries. Okay, it's not like uh, other countries like India and other can merge in it. It's only in the hands of powerful countries. So it's like you know, it's it's not a democratic thing. It's something which is under aristocracies. And if we talk about uh, this UNO thing, it's like you know, no one has a say. If we talk about Syria, it 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 does it does not have any say in the uh, you know in UNO. But if we talk about U.S., any it other has person, a say. please. The, uh, poor and the, the poor countries are not giving any right. They are just uh, in the uh, they are just in, in the power of the powerful countries. The uh, developing countries are not doing. Yes. I think in my humble opinion is just uh, to some extent uh, it is successful and also it is a failure. Uh, it is successful in the way that uh, it provides TV to all the countries that are underdeveloped uh, and also help all other countries. But uh, if we talk about this failure then it, uh, that it is unable to stop the racism, I mean this uh, what we call genocide in Gaza and uh, other thing in Syria that she has previously called, told and also in Kashmir. It has uh, nothing to stop all this uh, and uh, help any country in stop uh, to stop all okay. this. Add to him. Can anyone? Or counter him? It can help them in meeting, the, in meeting, uh, meeting those disasters and uh, and it can represent other their nations in, in, um, in, in front of the other nations. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Uh, but what about uh, then? Why? Uh, what is? It's, it's, it's not a discussion. Let's keep it for the discussion. Can anyone can who has not spoken, please? This man's success is one. Its failure is more than its success because it has failed all over the world. It is not uh, preventing this massacre all over the world of Muslims, or uh, it's not preventing racism. Yeah, I would like to add something. Just, uh, just read. Just read. Just spoken one. Sir, I am also of the opinion that it's a failure. Mm. So it has not done. Speak to them, please. So it's uh, it has not done anything that is beneficial for whole of the world, as it is a parent body, a parent organization. It represents um, all all the countries. Major 193 countries are the members of the UN. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would request that let uh, first round be completed and then we'll start. Then we'll go for open discussion. I think you are not spoken. Would you like to add something to it? Yeah, it's like you know, uh, has not been able to prevent the genocide, the racism, and uh, although it has many successes, but uh, they, the failures are due to successes. So it's a failure. Yes, you like to add to it something. Yes, I want to say mm -hmm. that UN is failure because it doesn't it doesn't give some it is under some pressure. For example, mm -hmm. developing uh, the developed countries and. Then, I suppose. Yeah. Skin pen join? Happy Pasha? Then, then. 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 Then, Pen, sabi ke paas hai. Aap beta kis class se hain sab log? Eleven. You are all going into eleven. Aap log ne tenth ke exam ka topic aap log ne choose kiya. Dono mein se ek aap select kari. Then I'll time it. Go de. Second. Kaun Second. Second. Everyone comfortable with the second topic? I'll give you five minutes for it. You may jot down few points for your own reference. We don't need that. 
you may just speak ex tempo as you like okay your time begins Can you stop writing now? Okay. And we'll have a first session of say five minutes, in which say five or seven minutes, in which we expect that every student should speak. Everyone. It won't be uh, uh, about why cell phones are banned in. Uh, we should we should ban cell phones in the school because if we uh, if we. sites or specific following of some institutions in India, uh, I mean on social networks as well, whatever you, are, you want to do on mobile net, uh, mobile phones or cell phones, you need to give a specific time. If you aim at high goals, you need to give a specific time. Then uh, why shouldn't this time give, uh, be given at home? Why at schools? Uh, be its first point. Second point, I would say that uh, in the school, uh, we go to um, uh, acquire education. Uh, education doesn't only mean the acquiring knowledge, it also means the discipline. So I think uh, that it would definitely defeat the cause of discipline in school if we would take cell phones to school. And uh, third one uh, is that uh, the fact is that why it would um, uh, why it would uh, defeat the cause of discipline because uh, everybody knows. I mean, if we are eleven here, everybody would agree that uh, everybody would agree that uh, all the cell phones contain some junk, whether in one form or another. Every every cell phone contains junk. So this would defeat the cause of discipline in school. So I would uh, definitely support the cause of. Uh, Banning the mobile phone in school. Point two is we can uh, use phones greatly to uh, capture all the movements in the class, to, uh, which uh, will be the cause of uh, which will be the cause for our acceleration of the living that very class. Now coming to her, his point, uh, it's a uh, modern time, and we should uh, use phones, cell phones for uh, getting knowledge. 
Exactly, I suppose the point, but I said... Don't count I'll talk please. to it later. later. Sorry. It's very important to uh, us uh, that uh, we should, uh, um, uh, we should uh, gain every current affairs about uh, what's going uh, so on around us. Teacher, it's not like that you can't understand teacher. It's like the cell phones provide only you information. It's the school which provides you knowledge. Next. Yes. Aap kuch add kar Next. I think the use of cell phones should be banned because we can use phones. In Speak homes to them. Too. We can use phones in homes too. No. What? So we can use phones in home too. Mm -hmm. Agar hum phones classroom mein use karte hain, to usse uh, indiscipline create hota hai. Switch to me. Switch to me. Gap maintain nahi rehti. Aur aur chhodu mein gap maintain nahi. Baad mein. जैसे कि हम देखते हैं अपने स्टूडेंट्स जैसे कि एक स्टूडेंट ने बोला कि हम लेक्चर ये उसका रिकॉर्ड कर सकते हैं फिर सुन सकते हैं वैसा नहीं होता है आजकल अगर ये लड़का कर सकता है नहीं हो सकता नहीं होता है डोंट गिव अप ये सब नहीं ये कुछ नहीं होता है बल्कि लड़के क्या करता है वो सोशल नेटवर्क एक्सरसाइज पर बिजी होते हैं Anybody else? Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Cell phones should be banned inside the schools because we go to school for studies and other uh, all other informative purposes, uh, all other informative purposes. Cell phones should be totally banned because uh, we have libraries and teachers, a great masters, uh, guides in our schools. We can uh, we can go uh, go through them and uh, teach. Uh, and learn something from that that we were to, supposed to learn on the internet sites because it's become a great teachers in our school we go to school to seek knowledge from these teachers and if we don't understand at once their lesson we can ask them for second time for third time and if we will use cell phones you will see all the students are not using cell phones for to seek knowledge from phone through internet but they are using it for social media purposes all the students are attracted towards it in this way they get diverted away from their studies so i think it should be completely banned and it's again a discipline in the school okay. i think every student has spoken for once yeah. the discussion is open now you can speak as you like okay yeah. coming back to his point what he raised the point he raised the point uh, regarding the importance of uh, on internet I would like to say uh, one thing. I would like to clarify that uh, this discussion is not regarding the matlab. This is not internet. Of course, it's important. I also use it. I for I use social network. Of course, everybody uses. I think everybody uses it. But it's about taking cell phones to school. It's about using in school. I'm also talking about the same. So you may but have your point. I would you know, I would like to listen it, uh, to you again. Cell phones are uh, also helpful for handicapped person because they can't uh, write uh, the uh, write the lecture. For them, we can have separate classrooms for handicapped persons. We can have separate classrooms. We can have that, but that doesn't. This time, but that doesn't. That I mean, that doesn't clarify the point that we should have. We should have. We should, of course, have cell phones in school. That only means that we can have. We should. You should. You are promulgating the fact that we should have the separate classrooms, digital classrooms for handicapped. That doesn't mean that everybody should be allowed to have cell phones in school. अभी नहीं है तो इससे क्या बात है सेपरेट का वी शुड प्रमोट दैट बट दैट दैट डजंट अलाउ एवरीबॉडी टू हैव सेल्फ फोन्स नहीं आप फ्यूचर में जा रहे हो अभी मैं ये यू आर सेइंग दैट एवरीबॉडी एल्स हैड अ फोन इट्स नॉट अ बी मोनोटोन हां आप बताइए सेल्फ फोन शुड बी बैंड बिकॉज़ ऐसे डिस्टर्ब होता है अगर वो फोन रंग हो गई एंड क्यों वो टीचर्स वो टीचर्स एंड आल्सो स्टूडेंट्स विल गेट डिस्टर्ब कैन एनीबॉडी प्लीज ऐड टू इट What kind of junks we okay, have? Okay, relax, please. Okay. I think every information can't be grasped from the books and libraries, so we have to use cell phones. Nice. We can use. We have digital platforms. Libraries and teachers. Of course, we have. You can. You can use it at home. Why not in home? In in class, yeah. In home. Why not in home? Why not in home? No, no. You can have the books. You can write what what is. If you have. You need to have something. Everyone has. Okay, let him make a point. Everyone has the capacity to use the mobile phone, and they are very much interested with mobile phone as. You know, we don't oppose the fact, we, but we mean that why not at home? Why do you use a phone? If you have computer, just write it and it's then go to home and they then do. search for it's a phone. No one about they have to study or that. That certainly defeats the cause of school. That's not yeah. education. Libraries and 
very well. There is a library. You can go to the library. Bring the books to school. If it doesn't have, you can go to teachers. For teachers. If teacher also knows that, what will she do? Then what are the teachers for? Every teacher doesn't know everything about. What are the teachers for? I didn't get that. You said that teacher doesn't know that. Sir, if we go two times, we go to the third time. The third time, their mood is different. They go to the internet. I don't accept it. I don't accept it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not the case. Firstly, uh, GAD boosts confidence in you. You have the courage to speak in front of uh, many people. So uh, I, uh, I, uh, I want to say to other students to come and uh, participate in Aloha exams. This will boost confidence in you and you will have courage to face the world. And uh, thirdly, the changes I want in the education system, it's not actually, uh, I just want the uh, students should not run actually after marks, just uh, run, just go for the concepts. And uh, the teachers in the school should not uh, uh, force the students, uh, they should, uh, a, a friendly environment should be made in these classes so that uh, students are able to uh, study nicely. Thank you. So first of all, I would like to say that uh, this is a, this is a lifetime experience to participate in this GAT exam. It not only helps to boost confidence and give you courage. It's a, it is also of the similar pattern of the competitive exams like KS and IAS. It helps us to prepare for those exams, and it's really beneficial. Do those people who have not participated in these uh, should uh, really try, uh, give it a try and uh, it's not only about qualifying and scoring marks in this exam, it's uh, just about giving a try and uh, learning the uh, benefits of this exam and uh, it also gives us an exposure of what's going on, go, of what the competition is going on in the outside world. Now when it comes to the amendments and studies, first of all the concept of competition should not be there. It's really frustrating when teachers tell you that you're, why are you not getting above 97%, this is really bad. You sh we should analyze what the student uh, is uh, scoring good marks in and what the bad marks in. So accordingly we can plan it all. Guys, I want to tell you, please try it. It's a very nice experience. It not only tells you the concept, it will also tell you about the current affairs and general knowledge, which is going to help you a lot in today's life. Okay, I want to say that Aloha Gate is so impressive. It, it boosts your confidence level. And I was, I was so eager to appear in the personality test, and, and I appeared in uh, that. And it, all, it also boosts my courage. It also boosts my confidence level. And I learned uh, that how these interviews and how these group discussions come through. And I want to convey this message to my friends that they also should participate in this examination. And yeah, if they are uh, afraid of these um, uh, group discussions or personality tests, it will boost their confidence level, and they will be all right in the future. Thank you. So if I talk about Aloha Gate, it has helped me personally in building my personality. Apart from academics, it helps us in it helps us in various aspects such as it acts as a litmus paper test, and it helps us in various aspects such as it helps us in building our personality and other things. As far as our studies are concerned, we should we should have more curriculum activi activities. Our students in Kashmir are so shy, so. They should build their personality and help them in other other things. Thank you. Mainly, it was a good experience because in our school there are no facilities, discussion and debate. And I feel bad for the students who didn't participate in it. Because they get all this exposure, how to speak, how to talk, how to do interviews, how to do interviews. I want this to be done in every school discussion session or debate section. So that's why it's very good for them. Thank you. I think the GATT has a lot of children's platform where they can give their views. So this is a very good experience for me. It's a very good experience for me. And it's a very good experience for me. It's a very good exposure for a student to compete with different schools. When the kids don't participate, they should participate in their own because it's a very good platform. It's a very good experience for them. It's a very good experience for everyone. You should participate in a wonderful experience being here. This is what we have prepared for corporate exams. It's very unique. कश्मीर में ऐसा नहीं हुआ है पहले अब ये आ रहा है वे आई मेरी फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी जो लोग यहाँ नहीं आ पाए दे विल लाइक बिहाइंड इन वन वे ऑन अदर 
मैं सबको ये रिक्वेस्ट कर रही हूँ कि जो इसमें आ सकता है वो प्लीज आए इस वंडरफुल थिंग गैट इज एन एक्स्ट्रॉडनरी प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर स्टूडेंट्स इट बूस्ट योर कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल इससे एक एक्सपोजर मिलता है बाकी स्टूडेंट्स के साथ इंटरेक्ट करने का पहले प्रिलिम्स प्रिलिम्स का एग्जाम होता है जिसमें एक मल्टीपल चॉइस पेपर होता है एंड इट्स इजी टू क्वालिफाई देन मेंस उसके बाद मेंस में जो ऑलरेडी पढ़ा होता है देन उसके बाद पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट होता है पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट में एक इंटरव्यू और एक ग्रुप डिस्कशन होता है विच हेल्प्स यू टू ओवरकम योर शाइनेस एंड बूस्ट योर कॉन्फिडेंस ये गैट एक ऐसा एबिलिटी टेस्ट है जो मैं पिछले तीन सालों से दे रहा हूँ ये बहुत अच्छा टेस्ट है इसमें एक बच्चे की जनरल नॉलेज बाहर निकलती है जो भी उसका डर होता है मैथ्स के और या उर्दू या किसी भी लैंग्वेज के बारे में तो वो सारा डर ख़त्म हो जाता है मैं पहले इसके स्टेज होते हैं फिल्म्स फिर मेंस फिर पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट पिछली बार मैंने जो दिया था तब मैं इतना अच्छा परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाया था लेकिन इस बार मैंने बहुत ज़्यादा मेहनत की जिसकी वजह खुदा की वजह अल्लाह की वजह से अल्लाह ने मुझे साथ दिया मैं कुरान पढ़ता था मैं नमाज़ पढ़ता था कि हमेशा मैं कायम ये मेरा सारे मार्क्स अच्छे आए मेरे भी एग्ज़ाम्स भी चल रहे हैं लेकिन ज़्यादा फोकस मैंने इसी एग्ज़ाम पे दिया क्योंकि मेरे पापा को बहुत अच्छा लगता था एग्ज़ाम उन्होंने बोला हर साल दो मैंने अपने पैसों में से निकाले ताकि मैं इनकी फॉर्म भर सकूँ पापा ने पिछली बार बोला था मत दो लेकिन मैंने बोला कि नहीं मैं देना चाहता हूँ मैं 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 नहीं देना चाह बोलना चाहता कि नहीं मैं भी थोड़ा कम हूँ मुझे हमेशा आगे बढ़ता रहना है मैं हमेशा आ, काम करना चाहता था मैं जनरल नॉलेज पढ़ना चाहता था वर्ल्ड के बारे में कश्मीर के बारे में लेकिन इस जनरल एबिलिटी टेस्ट में बहुत ज़्यादा मुझे फ़ायदा हुआ ना कि सिर्फ मेरे लिए बल्कि दूसरे बच्चों को भी इसमें आना चाहिए मेरे कोलीग्स थे एक मेरा दोस्त है इफाम उसने भी ये दिया था पहली बार मैंने उसको बोला था कि ये गैट बहुत अच्छा है वो भी बहुत इंटेलिजेंट था मेरे साथ ही पढ़ता था सेवन्थ क्लास में लेकिन फिर वो भी बहुत बीमार पड़ गया वो प्रॉब्लम्स दे नहीं पाया इसीलिए इस साल मैं ये मेन्स देने के लिए तैयार था मुझे वन आए जबकि कट ऑफ मेरिट वन था तो मुझे कि कश्मीर के सारे बच्चों को ये बोलना है कि ये मेन टेस्ट बहुत अच्छा है इससे दिमाग बहुत अच्छा हो जाता है बहुत सारे डर निकल जाते हैं मैथ्स के जो सबसे बड़ा डर है आजकल के बच्चों का पिछली बार हम